I was in elementary school and I met Ms. Mr. Reed. Steve Reed was my grade six and seven teacher. I don't know if I was just like an odd kid or what, but I would literally go and run around the field at lunch. I just liked running. So Mr. Reed or Steve let me know, you know, we have a, the Langley Track Club. I just started this track club and you want to join? And absolutely. There was maybe six or seven kids at the time. It was just his car and us kids. And then this old track at Langley, not the track they have now, they've rebuilt the track. They have a beautiful track now, but we had an old black track. I don't know, like a harder surface. And so that was our, that was our, our place. And that's kind of how it came about. In 1976, Steve went to watch the Olympics in Montreal. And I, that was really impactful for me. I was like, okay, the Olympics. And I watched it and he was there and we talked about it. And I just said, I want to do that. He just went, yeah, okay. I think running for me taught me at a very early age how to set a small goal and achieve it. So, you know, especially once I made my first Olympic team, I knew at that point, every single goal I set for myself, I'm going to achieve. Right, I understood that you know you can set a goal and work towards it, and you might not get it right away. Doesn't matter. The goal is still relevant. You still want it. You just keep working at it. I think like the '96 Olympics, when you know things went really, everything came together really well. A moment that I really recall was after I finished. I jumped on the athlete bus all by myself and went back to the warm-up track and we were the last event. So I got there and there wasn't a person there. It was just me and I had a moment. I wanted to do my warm down and all that and I had a moment where I was like, okay, I did that. And because prior to that, there had been so many failures, you know, like I tried to make the team in 1988, finished dead last, you know, and then I went, made the team in 1992 and ran the 3000, which they used to have didn't make it out of the heats, I think I finished dead last. Like I had these negative experiences where I was kind of like, wow, like this is a bit harder than I thought and you know, do I have the capacity to continue? And I did. And then everything came together and I was like, okay, I understand now that lots and lots of failure is part of this one moment where you get to experience, I did this and everything came together. I love Langley, like I still feel like I'm from Langley, like I think, you know, that's where you first put your roots down as a kid and I really still feel like, even though I've lived in Coquitlam longer now than I lived in Langley, I still feel like a Langley girl. And I think the Langley Track Club, that was what we were called at the time, we, were, we weren't the Langley Mustangs, we were just the Langley Track Club and I belong to this club. Langley is hosting the Canadian National Track and Field Championships, which is a huge event. And I don't think people really get what a big deal Canadian National Track and Field Championships are until you go and you see like the cream of the crop. Like these are the athletes that are going to be at World Championships. They're going to be at the Olympics next year. Like you get to go and be this close to the best of the best. Super inspired and like. You know, kids are always like, I want to do that. And I'm always like, you know what? Someone has to go to the Olympics. Why not you? Go.